Hello all. So in this tutorial, we are going to texture this glass using a Photoshop. So what we are going to do over here is like we are just going to texture this over here using this Photoshop method over here. So uh, very first of all, what we'll be doing over here is like so let's just detach this stuff over here so let's go into this and let's just uh, detach it as a element over here so what I want is we'll be doing some of the glasses texture it so very first of all what I'll be doing over here is like I'll be uh, going into this So first let's detach it as a different object. So let's go into this and let's go into unwrap UVW into this unwrap UVW let's go into this polygons and let's give a quick planner map open UV editor so what I'm going to do over here is like I'm just going to unwrap this this is a plane over here let's go into this tools render UV template render it so let's save this I think it's uh, on the other side of the window let's save it into that UV I think no so let's again go into this quick planner map open UV editor over here and tools render UV template render and save it let's go on to the desktop UVs and save it in JPG so what we'll be doing over here is like uh, let's go into this and let's open with Photoshop over here
so after you are done with this uh, over here now what we will be doing is like we will be uh, taking a new layer over here let's take a new layer over here and let's go into file open go on to the desktop and let's take that blood we have a folder of it we can take this three images over here so let's just delete this stuff over here just delete the background using this and let's take this blood image and just drag it over here so you can just press se select it you can just select that particular stuff over here in this way you want to just show the blood like this over here just enter this stuff over here in this way of this texture let's go into file save as this okay save it in png so just save it in save as in png so let's go into this max over here go on top of it material let's go into the material option over here let's take a new v-ray material or you can take any of the materials you can just go into the diffuse bitmap and go into that folder so whatever you have saved you can just assign that on top of it so you can also go into this and you can use a bit of refraction also I don't know why this blood stains coming in this way you can save in the form of jpg also not a problem so or else what we will do over here is like uh, we'll just activate this we'll off this we'll go into this and we'll take this just uh, delete the background over here let's just drag it over here Maybe this way press enter off this and save as it in your PSD file so let's again go into this and let's just clear this <coughs> bitmap and just assign it in this way So after you have assigned this uh, stuff over here, if you want, you can also give a bit of refraction to that particular glass over here to show that. So with the help of refraction, 
that both can be seen over here. So even if you want to uh, paint some kind of a texture on top of it, you can paint the texture also on top of it, that can be done. Or you can just paint on one of the areas of the glass, that can be done over here. So now let's take this glass over here. So again, you can just select this uh, simple glass over here. And let's just detach it. Just say OK. Uh, hierarchy, effect pivot only. Center to object. Now go into this. Select this and delete it. Just select this part, just push this over here and again let's go into this, unwrap UVW and you can, if you want that I want only the blur, only in the particular area, we can just go into this, you can just delete this first, right click and let's use a cut option, you can just use cut over here now let's go into this unwrap UVW let's select this and uh, let's go down we'll go into the plane X Y and quick planner map open UV editor so you can just uh, scale this tools render UV template save it uh, UV1 JPG now let's again go back into that and open this Now let's go into this and we have one more texture over here, we can go with that also. So let's uh, use a magic eraser tool or you can also use click one magic vent tool, go into this select similar and let's just delete this, deselect this stuff and let's just place it over here in this way so if you want that this stuff should only be placed in this way you can just place it in this way that's it off this file save as blood 2 we can go with the PNG. Let's try with PNG. Let's see how it works. Save as it. Click OK. Again, let's go into the max over here and go into the material. Let's take a V-ray material bitmap and blood to dot png yeah looks so much better and the rest of the part uh, also what we'll be doing is like png is creating a bit of problem we can just uh, use a bit of refract to the rest of the class So just convert to poly, select this, press 4, go into material and assign this. So once you are done, you can see that you have uh, assigned some kind of textures painted on top of it. So such kind of things can be done over here, you can just easily unwrap it and you can just 
do the texturing if you have already you have textures you can easily apply on top of it because it is a flat plane so you can normally use a planar mapping over here that's it that looks good so thanks for watching this tutorial